Hey Jessica. Yeah? What do you want for lunch this week? I want weird orange soup. Welcome to Crocs in the Kitchen. I'm Jessica. And I am Brian. In case this is your first video that you've ever watched of ours, which who knows, maybe it is. Yeah, maybe. Just in case, we are a couple who have been on a weight loss journey that has really just taken over as a lifestyle change for us. So we started eating a whole food plant-based diet just over a year ago, and we've lost over 280 pounds, I believe, combined yep. to date. So check out our other videos and some links down below to learn more about our journey. But today we're going to show you how we make one of our favorite soups. Yes, so if you have seen our videos before, you may recall that we made weird green soup, yes. which was actually very popular uh, amongst our viewers. And shortly thereafter, since we make this so often, we decided, hey, I think we can make this a little different. And uh, weirdly enough, when I put it all together in the first time, like had the ingredient amounts and, and all of this, it came together so well that I have not touched this recipe since. Yeah, so this is an Italian take on the weird green soup. So there, uh, you know from the last video, Brian used a lot of different spices and this one we just decided to kind of make an Italian inspired dish. Yes, but I think that this is, is just an absolutely fantastic soup that we came up with. So the inspiration behind this recipe actually comes from a recipe in the Eat to Live Quick and Easy Cookbook. So if you want to check that out and learn more about that book, click the blog post below and you can find out more. We've actually modified it so many times, yes, added so heavily. many more things and heavily modified it, but the base inspiration was from that cookbook. Yeah, and we like giving credit where it is due. Yeah. Before we get started cooking, let's go through the ingredients. So let's start with the base. If you remember from our weird green soup recipe, which is linked in the description below, we started out with one 16 ounce bag of frozen corn and four cups of almond milk blitzed together in our blender. And we added in a full bottle here, four cups of carrot juice. But before we get any further, I did wanna answer some questions that we got on the weird green soup recipe, since yes. this is all the same stuff anyway. The primary question that we got was, can you use a different kind of milk? The answer is yes, you can. You can use any kind of plant milk that you want, be it almond, cashew, uh, soy milk, oat milk, whatever you want it to be, so long as it's not flavored. If it's yeah. just like the original unsweetened uh, type of milk, that's what you want. Do not mix vanilla flavored almond milk into this recipe. It might be interesting we haven't done it <laughs> but just trust me it would it would not be that great so another question that you guys had was can you swap out the corn in the base and i would say that the answer is yes you just have to pick something that kind of makes it a little bit creamier i actually thought that uh like a baked sweet potato like a really baked sweet potato you scoop out the inside use that right. a regular yeah. potato would like work some some boiled uh cauliflower something that was soft that would just yeah. like sort of fill or out some the yukon milk. gold potatoes yeah yukon gold potatoes but yeah you can pretty much swap the corn out with with anything else but i think the sweeter type things like corn would lend itself yeah. more to uh, the recipe that we're making. Yeah. So we also decided for the Italian version of this soup to add some tomato products. So the first one we did was a nice can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And these are a brand that we like to get that has no salt added, which is super nice. Um, and then we also added a six ounce can of tomato paste. After that, we can get to our seasonings. And of course we have some garlic, we have some onion powder, we have Italian seasoning, and of course we are adding in some smoked paprika and some cayenne pepper to sort of uh, release some extra little tiny bit of heat into this and just open up those flavors a little bit more. And finally, we are adding in some nutritional yeast, that glorious cheesy thing that all vegans know and love. <laughs> So for the frozen veggies, these are so easy because you can just swap them in and out depending on what's in your freezer at the time. These are a bit different than the ones we use in the weird grain soup recipe, but you can really mix and match this. It's, it, it's very forgiving. Um, today we have two bags of broccoli. We have some green beans, a California medley that has broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. 
um, some more corn. We have some curled kale. We have cauliflower, bell peppers. And then I've picked up this bag of pearl onions because they were on clearance at Whole Foods. And I was like, sure, why not? But we're just gonna throw them in and see. They might be horrible in here, but we just don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, you're looking for about, I would say between nine to 10 bags of frozen veggies. Um, as far as the questions, also you guys asked us, can you use fresh veggies? Yes, you can definitely use fresh veggies in this soup. Mm -hmm. If you have fresh veggies and you want to put them in there, it should be pretty similar cooking times yeah. and everything like that. Definitely throw in fresh veggies. The reason we used frozen was really literally just because, like we said, we got this this recipe idea from the, the Eat to Live Quick and Easy cookbook, and they use frozen veggies just to make it quicker and easier. Also, today it is pretty late in, on a Friday night and we're making this for the next week, so we're sticking with frozen. <laughs> but we actually do have some fresh stuff that we are yeah. going to throw in here because we couldn't really find anything that uh, happened to have zucchini in it, so we're like, yeah, we'll just do some fresh zucchini because we always have zucchini on hand at the house anyway. And so we chopped that up. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how this actually turns out in there, and I think it'll be absolutely delicious. After that, we have some sliced mushrooms, which are just nice in pretty much everything that we throw them into. And uh, finally, to round it all off, we have a nice collection of beans, including kidney beans, garbanzo beans, cannellini beans, and some black beans as well. Yeah, so you're looking for about four to five cans of beans to put into this. We're using canned today, but you can definitely cook some dry beans in your Instant Pot and add them in as well. If you check out the blog post, I'll actually have kind of the equivalent of how many dry beans you should use if you decide to go that route. You just wanna make sure that you cook the dry beans before they go into this because we're not cooking it long enough in the pot for the beans to cook. So all beans need to be pre-cooked before going into this soup. Do not put dry beans into this soup. They will be crunchy and it will, it will not be delicious. So now that we are done with that, let's get to cooking. So as you can see, that is not too much different from our weird green soup recipe. Just some slight changes and you get an Italian inspired weird orange soup. Yeah, and don't get too hung up on the color. Some people in our other video are like, it's not weird green soup, it's yellow, it's not, you know, whatever. The thing is, it's gonna turn out a different color depending on what kind of veggies you use, how many veggies you use, etc. Yep. Um, for us, this actually, it, I think the last batch we made was a slightly more orange. It was definitely a brighter orange. It definitely has like an orange hue to it versus the other one that has a more green hue. Yeah. So yeah, we enjoy making this. This is super easy. Just like 
obviously makes a ton. So we, um, as we told you in our last video, this is a huge batch. This is not like, this is batch no. cooking. <laughs> this is what we will eat for the next week. Yeah, we'll eat this for the next week, but then we'll have leftovers so that we can put them in the freezer and we can just take them out and then we'll have like another week's worth of meals. Mm -hmm. So people, um, I think somebody asked in the comments of the other video, like how long this will last in the freezer. I mean, we've kept it in there for up to a couple of months yeah. and it's been fine. So you could probably keep it in there longer, honestly. It's yeah. just, it, 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 it works out really well. But as far as portioning this out, um, so that's another question that came from our other video. It basically like, how much do we eat for a serving? So Brian's servings are always usually a little bit bigger than mine. These are four cup containers. And so Brian, this is a Brian serving. It's, a, it, it's about two third or three fourths of the way. So I would say about three cups. Mm -hmm. um, I do like three big scoops with that ladle that we have. And then this is my portion, which is about halfway, so about two cups. And that usually, you know, it's it's pretty filling, yes. I, I would say. The other thing that I, you may not know, oh, go on, do you? Well, I was just going to say that we don't, uh, you know, we're not big on like actual portion sizes or really controlling what we uh, like the size of our meals necessarily. Yeah. And so, you know, a serving size is basically just whatever amount that we yeah. actually end up eating. Naturally, over time, we just kind of figured out how much we need like to keep us full when we take this for lunch at work. The other thing that was very interesting, um, a couple of days ago, someone on Instagram actually tagged us because they made the weird green soup and they, they had a really good serving suggestion, which I think you would actually like. What? They served it on, it was actually, it was a little more complicated, but it was basically like a bed of riced cauliflower Ooh. and then they served the soup over it. So nice. I thought that was really cool. So, cause so, I think someone asked if we ever ate it with rice and you could definitely do that, like serve it over a bed of rice, that'd be really good couple of scoops, you know, yeah. there's, there's ways that you can bulk it up. Um, yeah, but I, I mean, so keep sending us your suggestions. We love seeing all that kind of stuff. Cause I would have never thought of that to be honest. <laughs> you know, I love experimenting, but I also love it when you get either way, Jessica, let's actually get to tasting this soup. Wait a second. Yours is bigger than mine. It, no. I want the bigger portion. Whatever. <laughs> mm. I win. All right. So yeah, this is this is actually really nice. Uh, I of course have tasted this already. You know, just sampling it, trying to get the flavors right. Any good chef will taste. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. As uh, if you saw in the video, you know, we added more Italian seasoning. I, it was just we had more vegetables, so I felt it needed more of that that kick of flavor. All in all, very very nice. You can eat <laughs> with me talking like it's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. But I like it because. Mm -hmm. It's got a real savory kick to it because of uh, the mushrooms. It's got that sweetness due to the corn and, uh, and the beans are just really, really nice. But weirdly enough, the zucchini actually turned out really good. I, I know it's like, it's kind of mushy, but it's also sweet. And I, I've never actually had zucchini that actually turned out sweet before, but mm. this is actually really, really tasty. Oh yeah, and those pearl onions actually turned out really nice too. Cool. Um, I like how Brian, when he eats something, he like picks apart the individual pieces. And for me, it's just like a collective, you know, it tastes good all together. Like, I don't know why, but Brian has that really good knack for knowing like this added this and this added that. And I think that's why you're good at putting together all the different combinations of flavors. So. You know, we do the same thing for music too, right? Hmm, that's true. It's true. I break apart music and Jessica just listens to yeah, the whole. Yeah, I listen to the whole song and everything all together and he's always like tuning into certain You're Like, oh, did you hear things. the bass? It did this. Did you hear the drums? Mm -hmm. It did this. So, yeah. this It's just natural for me to sort of break things apart and get them down to their bass components mm -hmm. to see how they all add together into uh, the final dish or the final song. It's just mm -hmm. how my mind works. Well, this turned out really good. The other thing about it is this just came... Like if we finished cooking it like less than an hour ago. Yeah. And so uh, I'm not gonna tell you what time it is. If you can read that, you'll know what time it is and know it's not afternoon. <laughs> but. We work hard. But, <laughs> what time is it? Oh, geez. <laughs> is it really? Is it really 1.44 in the morning? <laughs> yes, it is, my dear. <laughs> what is wrong with us? Nothing. Why 
We are just constantly trying to create the best that we possibly can for our channel and for our fans. What life decisions did we make to get to the point where we're sitting here <laughs> eating weird giant things of soup? I don't know, but it's really good. At 1.44 in the morning. Oh my mm. gosh, I'm literally, I'm like tearing up. Okay. <clears throat> Man, those mushrooms were good. All in all, and the, the best part about it, once it sits overnight mm. and it's cooled off, and then it's like allowed to sort of all incorporate together and then you yeah. heat it up the next day for lunch. It's even better. Mm, it, it is even, even better. better. I love this stuff. Not to mention packed full of vegetables and goodness and healthiness and no oil. It's just a great, great soup. I love this, this thing. This is really good. <laughs> you ready then? I'm gonna go to the clothes now. You got it? All right. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. Click the bell that is right next to it so you can get all the notifications whenever we post a new video. And uh, please comment on, on this. Yeah. Uh, you know, we love reading the comments. Yes. Even and if we don't respond to them all, which we still, we still try to take time to go back and respond to old ones, but we definitely see them and we love reading them. Mm -hmm. Let us know if there are other variations of this soup you want us to try to experiment with. Yeah. I don't know. You never know. Uh, also, please like the video if you are so inclined and share the video if you wanna do that as well. We greatly appreciate yes. any and all interactions like that. And they really do help us out in, in growing the channel and growing this community that we are building here. But other than that, I don't really think I've got anything else to add. It's time for bed. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna finish off this last couple of bites that I got and then it is sleepy time for us and the pups and peef. Aww. We will see you next time on Crocs in the Kitchen. Bye bye. Weird orange soup. Yay. Weird orange soup. soup. We're gonna eat all of the weird orange soup. <laughs> <laughs>